Um, now, you should. All right, you should get this thing uh, all wired up. I mean, all solder. Make sure that the C6, uh, the capacitor C6, is not loaded. I think I told you before. If it's loaded, most likely it's never going to work. All right. After you have soldered everything, programmed your EEPROM, like what I did just now, and then plug it in. After that, you should connect it to the power supply. You can either connect direct to the VCC and ground, or you can go through that socket. Now, if you go through that, 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 that power socket, then you find that the power socket actually does not supply direct to VCC and ground of the system, but it goes through this 7, 7805. 7805 is a voltage regulator. You know that, right? So it's a 7805 means it's a 5 volt voltage regulator. If you are going through that, and if you give it only 5 volt at the input, you are never going to get 5 volt at the output. So if you're going through that, you should give it at least like 9 to 10 volts. So it doesn't matter 9 or 10 volts because it's a regulator, it would regulate it down to 5 volts. Alright? If you are putting it down to direct to the VCC and ground of the board, then you better be very careful. Right now, I'm using the fixed 5 volt supply, so that's okay. If it happens to be connected to the others, then you better check, uh, you better check that uh, you, you get five, set it to 5 volt before you put in the connection. Otherwise, it's okay with me. The hard <laughs> it is with you. <laughs> Alright, your board burns. Never mind, we'll give you one more. You just go and solder them again. Alright, if every day you burn one, well, good luck. <laughs> Alright, now, so once you get it in there, uh, we will need now to run a program on this side. All right, the program that you can run is called hyper terminal. Hyper terminal. You know what's hyper terminal? You just go in there, um, go to accessory. All right, under under communication. All right, communication. You should see a hyper terminal there. All right. So click on that. And you will see this picture, all right? This picture, this manual over here. Um, it needs a profile name, so give it anything that you want to. A A A A A whatever. <laughs> Click OK. Ah, there it is. You will say connect using what? Com one, com two, or com three or com four. So if you are connecting the board through com one of this fella, then choose com one. Click on COM1, another menu will come up that allow you to set the various communication parameter. The first one is bits per second. As far as this board is concerned, I have written the bootstrap loader to communicate at 9600 baht. So change it to 9600 baht. Alright, the number of data bit is 8. There's no priority that I have used over here. The number of stock bit you can put at one or two doesn't matter. In terms of flow control, there is no flow control. All right, so change it to none. All right, so no X on, X off flow control, no hardware flow control, just none. Then say apply and OK. All right, so this is ready. Once it's ready, now you have this, this fella. Right, the D connector, this long long wire with a D connector on one side and three pin on the other side. Connect the three pin <coughs> to this three pin right at the bottom here. Alright, right at the bottom here, connect it there, and the other side goes to a serial port. Alright, serial port of your computer. Once that is done, check five volts, right? Then you can power on. Once you power on, you press reset. If you see something like RAM based loader by Tay Teng Tel there, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> if you see nothing there, good luck. <laughs> Alright, so if you see that, 
if you have been doing your work, uh, make sure that things are all properly sold. Uh, don't cut corners. All right? Then it won't come and haunt you now. If you cut corners, this is the time that it haunts you. All right? If you see this thing, most likely 95% is working. All right? So what you need to do now is to try to download a program to here, to this, and see whether it works or not. Now, you remember in the first set of lecture notes right behind, I have this program called timer.asm. <coughs> All right? Timer.asm can be found inside this directory, uh, EE3208. There is a directory called timer, and those files that you found in your lecture notes are inside here. All right? Uh, just now, I wasn't able to get it work because somebody had replaced a timer.asm, uh, .hack with something else. So you just recompile it, make sure that the, 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 the batch file is correctly configured. All right. If you think it's not correct, you go back up to the my website to download a fresh copy. All right. So you compile it by running a batch file. It runs beautifully. It creates the hex file over here. So now, to download this timer.hex, that program to run here, all right, you go to this thing, this thing called transfer, send text file. Remember the hex file is a text file. All right, so select the send text file. I select it. Now right at the bottom, uh, it says text file. You change it to all file, otherwise your hex file never come out. Uh, change to all file, then go to your D drive, EE 3208 timer then you look for the timer dot hex the hex file timer dot hex all right select it open and once you open you can see some numbers running on the screen all right if you remember I have downloaded the thing in down here and it has send back acknowledgement and those are the number that is been that is been uh, that is shown over there after the end of download, you should see a bunch of things. Timer interrupt, timer 2 interrupt, timer 2 interrupt running on screen. Beautifully, your bot is working beautifully. Alright? You can change the period. And it goes faster. Or you can make it slower. Alright? Later on, I will show you exactly what that program is all about. But at this point in time, if this thing is okay, running, done. Your bot is working fine. All right? Any question? Oh, you can stop. <laughs>